looked him straight in the eye and he didn't have a clue who I was and I said Richard why don't you tell people that the moon is an artificial satellite and he just looked at me and he says I'm not ready to all right that's that's my personal experience it's the only one I have I think his information is good but I'm telling you from my own experience he's withholding and I don't understand why he's withholding I can verify that okay because because you, me, our children, our grandchildren, and our great-grandchildren are the ones at stake here. You know, we don't have anywhere else to go. We don't have any place to hide. This planet is our home. It's our home. And, and I'm just trying to help. I only have a piece of the puzzle. I don't have the whole puzzle. I think if I did, I'd be dead a long time ago. But I'm going to share with you stuff that I have been guided to that's on the far side of the moon. I don't deal with the visible side. Because as the right hand is moving here, the left hand's doing something else. Well, the left hand is the far side of the moon. If you remember the movie Apollo 13, um, if you remember the movie Apollo 13, what? Move over? Oh, it's the lights. Okay. Do you remember the movie Apollo 13? All hell's broken loose. They don't know if they're getting home. But they were so concerned about checking out and taking pictures of the far side of the moon. Now, here they are. May not get home, but their focus wasn't on getting home. It was seeing what was on the far side of the moon. That is a true enactment, folks. Now, I'm going to show you some of the things that are there. Now, these are... Now, so you may have trouble adjusting your eyes to seeing some of this. Some of the things you will not have any trouble whatsoever. These photographs, I was told specifically where to look, were taken by the Lunar Orbiter 4 from August of 1966 to August of 1967. They show so much. <laughs> I mean, it's, if you know what you're looking for, it's unbelievable. I just, it's unbelievable. You know, and uh, there's no way our astronauts miss this stuff. There's just no way. You know, 21-mile bridges, 7-mile monuments, uh, ships sitting in the middle of craters. I mean, you know, you're going to see it, okay? Um, I'll tell you what the Andromedans, Morinae, and Phaseus have said about the moon. And I, I want to take questions, so I want to get through this. They have said that our moon is an artificial satellite. In fact, it is a spacecraft. Much of the debris on the surface was put there and was built purposely to make it look like what it isn't okay it is hollow it is metal underneath it and uh it has the ability to leave our orbit under its own power they say it came from ursa minor from a, so uh, uh, a solar system that would have the symbol or uh, would have the name in our language of chauta it was one of four moons that rotated around the 17th planet. Now, it was built, this sounds just like Star Wars, it was built around that 17th planet. It was then put into the tail of a comet and then dragged here. And when it got to this area, it removed itself, and the first place it parked itself in our solar system was the planet that we now know of as Moldek, which is the asteroid belt. It was one of two moons that belonged there. Maldek was the first inhabited planet in our solar system. It was very much like Earth. Mars and our planet were terraformed from Maldek or Malona or whatever name you want to call it. It was terraformed. In other words, all the plant life and everything that is on the surface in animal life was brought here. It was brought here. You know, science... Science tells us that, you know, everything started with a single cell. The Andromedans laughed at that, you know. And, and, and Phaseus said to me, well, if that's true, then how does that one cell know to become a brain cell and a kidney cell? <clears throat> I couldn't answer him, because I don't know. He says it isn't possible. Our solar system has been engineered, built and engineered. Okay? The whole solar system. Um, we're going to get into some more of that, but I, I want to get going on the slides. Honey, do you want to come up and help?